Super Corridor, and you can Google it, nascocorridor.org. And the contracts with the foreign corporation Centra are still in force. They will remain in force till 2011. Kay Bailey calls it in her transportation plan a NAFTA multimodal vision, and Kay and Rick, being both sides of the same coin, have both taken $5 million in donations from the very financial institutes that she has bailed out. Governor Rick Perry has received over $2 million in out-of-state gambling interest, $4 million in financial and Wall Street interest, while he has paid out through the taxpayers' dollars to over $300 million in corporate welfare through the Texas Enterprise Fund. So, we want to thank them all for bringing an increasing higher level of scrutiny into government accountability. By bringing this race and this honest candidate, Deborah Medina, onto the national media stage, we will not call names, we will take the high road, that is less traveled in politics today, we will stay the course of bringing truth to a state who is longing for truth, longing for justice. We believe in the message of freedom, and we stand solid for that message. Deborah Medina. Thank you much, and I'll echo uh, Penny sentiments for coming and covering this campaign. I know that a lot's happening. We've got just a couple of weeks left before Texas Independence Day. This campaign from the very beginning has been about that, restoring a sovereign state here, understanding that private property ownership is an essential element of freedom and fighting against that thing lots of Texans are asking about. What is it exactly that caused our governor to want to give away thousands of acres of Texas land? Private property has long been held as a principal essential element of freedom in this state. We need to respect it. We've talked about gun ownership. We've talked about restoring state sovereignty, a proper balance between a limited federal government and a sovereign state. And we've talked about addressing illegal immigration, securing the Texas border, and providing for a healthy immigration process in this state. Those are the issues facing this campaign. The political games that we saw beginning to be played yesterday serve as nothing but a diversion. I think many around Texas have seen that. We're going to continue to forge forward talking about the real issues facing Texas, and I'm happy to take your questions at this time. Thank you again. Didn't you, I mean, didn't you contribute to these political games that you called them by not answering the question? Well, I, I think that I, you know, you get um, into those um, interviews sometimes and maybe over guess or revise what's going on. I heard, I heard a question that was probably bigger than what it really was, what was really being asked. I heard the should people be questioning their government. Um, and I've said repeatedly, yes, we ought to be holding ourselves to transparency and scrutiny in government. The fact that so many people have questions about so much of what's going on in government, I think is the real underlying issue there. That's what I was addressing, championing people's right and ability 
uh, to ask. I think I've, I've come out, you know, to, to clarify, do I believe Muslim terrorists flew planes into buildings? Yes, I do. Do I believe that our government orchestrated or coordinated that? No, I don't. Maybe that's what he was looking for, and I just uh, jumped the gun a bit there. Why didn't you say that in the first place? I just said, I, I, I was in the mindset of Glenn Beck being someone who questions what's going on in government, and that's what I was responding to. Well, what, are the, what are the very good questions? What are, what are the questions that are unanswered about the attack on, uh, on the World Trade Center? I haven't studied a whole lot of that. I know that there are people out there, and we've seen lots of, I think, Americans raising questions about all sorts of things within government. We just had some really interesting things happen with the global warming stuff. I think there have been conservatives right, for in, years who in, re, in relation to the 9-11 attacks, you said that there have been some very good questions raised in that regard. What were you talking about? What good questions? I've, I've seen some information about how come, um, I think, and I, and I may be wrong because this is eight or nine years ago now, but if I, if I believe correctly, I think we didn't have any loss of life of police officers from New York City, but we had a number of lives lost that were firefighters, and how come the police officers got out but the firefighters didn't get out? Um, questions about cleanup. There, I know that there are questions out there. I, as I said, yesterday. That's not something anybody has ever really questioned me about. It's not something I've dealt deeply into, but I am aware enough of society to know that there, that there are people who have questions, and I think that they're good questions. But questions specifically about whether the government was involved in that attack? Yeah, and, and that's, that's not the question I heard. No, I, I don't know about that. Uh, uh, Mr. Albaugh yesterday said anybody that believes the U.S. government was involved in that attack is quote nuts. That, that that kind of discussion is nuts. Do you think that's nuts? I think that we have to be careful in government. I think conservatives frequently talk about this thing of individual liberty, and then as soon as someone raises a question that's maybe outside of the mainstream, we want to categorize. I want to be careful as a leader not to call fellow citizens nuts. I want to be careful as a leader to recognize that dissension and minority questions can be asked. I'd like to not categorize uh, individuals in that way and champion their ability to raise and ask, and yours, to raise and ask the tough and hard questions without making uh, characterizations such as that. I, I respectfully um, reserve the right to agree or disagree with those sorts of things, but I, I, I really want to stay away from, and as I think as Penny indicated, take the high road here and say people ought to be asking questions. It's right and proper to do that and, and not I start throwing labels at those who do. Does this hurt your campaign? Noticeably hurt your campaign? It Boy, we've been so focused. I can't tell that it has at this at this juncture, but but I also haven't had a lot of time to assess and reassess. I'm a <clears throat> clinician, and I made the comment yesterday that I feel a little bit like I've been in a cardiac arrest code in a hospital situation. There's many members of the medical team that respond in those sorts of situations. We've all got a very precise job to do. We've got a great team around us here. They've been handling a lot of that fallout. I'm focusing on running a race, governing and staying on the issues that are affecting Texas. In addition to your comments yesterday on the Glenn Beck program, do you think you contributed to the perception that you are a 9-11 truther by going on Alex Jones' radio show, given that he is a well-known 9-11 truther? <laughs> You know, I think there's there's lots of uh, associations that people can draw all kinds of conclusions for. Clearly, um, there's a big audience in Texas, and I have, I think, rejected very, very few invitations to speak. I've made this a of the people, by the people, for the people um, campaign, and haven't spent, frankly, a whole lot of time investigating or researching backgrounds of people that I'm talking to. I only know Alex for, for maybe the last year. I'm not someone who has followed him closely. Do I realize that he, he is outside of the mainstream? Yes, he has a huge listening audience. I think we clearly articulated our message to that audience and uh, have been grateful for the number of Texans that have stood shoulder to shoulder with us in this campaign. Um, comfortable enough in who I am and what I believe to say if you believe like we do on these issues, I hope you'll vote for this campaign, support this government of the people, by the people. We're going to call for transparency. We're going to restore a constitutional republic, and that's what people have done.